Now I know what you're thinking, what on earth is he going on about? The average golfer invented the P760s. Well, just wait a minute. I had a little conversation with Taylor Made 14 months ago, and thankfully I recorded that conversation. So take a listen to this. 760. Taylor, yes, it's the average golfer. I'm good, I'm not too bad, I'm not too bad. No, I will not sign an exclusive club contract with yourselves. I keep telling you I want to keep and remain unbiased with my club reviews. What we're ringing for, I've had an idea. What do you think about this? I'm thinking, I love the P770s, I love the compact design, I love the feel out of the P770s, and I also like the P790s, because in the longer irons, they give me a bit more assistance. Could you make me up a set, a mixed set, pitch and wedge through to seven iron in a P770s, and then six, five, four iron, some P790s? Yeah, brilliant. If you can do that, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And it, just, just before you go, just before you go, one other idea, why not make a set up from pitching wedge two to three iron in exactly that. Hey, hello? Taylor? So I've not heard from Taylor May crediting me with the creation, invention of the P760s just yet, but I'm sure it's on its way. But joking aside, the conversation I did have with Taylor May was if they could make me a set of irons that blended two sets together at the time, which was the P770s and the P790s. And although they had to adjust some lofts in the P770s, I ended up with this set. And the idea was simple. It was to make sure that I had some help in the longer irons, um, more forgiveness maybe, but I still wanted to play the smaller compact iron, plenty of feel down in those shorter irons that I felt that I could deal with, handle. And now, 14 months later, they've come up with the P760s. It sounds like the perfect club to me. And there's only one way to find out if it is or not. I think it's time I went and whacked some golf balls. Okay, so um, just a matter of interest, it's the 7-iron that I'm going to be testing today, 33 degrees on in terms of loft. I'm using the exact shaft that I use currently in my irons, which is Dynamic Gold S300 uh, 105 stiff. Um, in terms of how it sits behind the ball, very, very similar to the P770s if you've seen them or tried them before, so I'd say a compact club. Um, without being overly compact this isn't a small what was it the 750s that were ultra tiny so again for me I'm more than confident enough to sit that ball at a dress and it's nice it's perfect on my eye it's exactly what I like so don't forget the club that I'm testing my uh, I've had sent some samples from TaylorMade that have unfortunately disappeared we're trying to trace them and track them down right now but that would include one of the shorter irons from the sort of uh, non-hollow body construction so don't forget this is the hollow body it's got speed foam in there but it'd be nice to try the other irons as well and i will do we'll call it this the first look video and i'll move and do a video out there on the course when the samples arrive and we track them down in the next day or two anyway let's hit some golf balls and so for me 150 ish this kind of 30 to 33 degrees worth of loft on this seven iron uh, so for me i'm in and around that sort of 150 mark 150 and above maybe with a bit of a putting a bit on it so that's what i'd be looking at great ball flight um great feel first ball i'm not gonna say too much just yet we're outside the hitting zone gc2 don't forget that was 151 carry, so right on the button. That seemed, yeah, well, it dropped off a little bit. It got a little bit high there. Dropped down to 144. Oh, I'll tell you what. The big thing, first of all, what I like is that for me, that was bang on 150 on the button, six and a half thousand spin I'm looking down at, but I should wait and play. Uh, we'll, we'll look at the numbers a bit closer at the end. Immediate thought and immediate response to that is the feel is absolutely amazing. And I say amazing because what they've managed to do in that is that for me, the, the only issue I have with the P790s that I have in the longer set is that although it's claimed to be forged, I still think it just lacked a little bit of feel um, so that was a kind of compromise I made getting lots of assistance but 
maybe drop off a little bit in fear when you go from P770 and then put the P790 in your hand. Immediate thoughts with that feel absolutely superb. So that's speed foam inside of this head, but still maintaining fantastic feel. And the spin number is way up for me, which is interesting. Let's have a look at that. These look decent numbers so far. I'm gonna hit some more golf balls and then we'll sit down and we'll give a full evaluation of this P760. But yeah, looking good so far, I have to say. I think um, TaylorMade, I'm glad you listened to my suggestion on building a set like this and it seems this could be a real winner. Once again, bang on a button in terms of the number literally a few more balls and I'll give you my opinion. Right, I normally have a little bit of a sit down and go through some numbers, but I've moved from literally 10 yards away from where I hit the ball straight into this uh, iPad numbers. I don't need to look at anything to tell you and evaluate these numbers. We will do, but I can give you straight away my thoughts on this golf club. It is ultra consistent. Here's the numbers up in front of you now. Um, I had quite a few shots because I was enjoying that a, a lot. Um, Okay, so ball speed at 107, almost remained, the lowest was 106, the highest being 109. It was almost the same throughout every single shot. Launching at 22.5, arguably for some people that might be a little bit high, but that's again, I hit a high golf ball, that's the way I deliver the club head. Um, average spin at 5.9, again, incredibly good spin number for me personally, with 7.9. People who watch the channel will know my spin drops off around generally, even on decent iron 7-iron, it's around 5,000 at best. Peaking out at 32, but again, barring one ball at 34, it was very, two balls at 34, very, very consistent in terms of its ball flight. And look at the carry distance, 147. I hit one ball that dropped it right out at 143, but everything else was very, very consistent indeed. And don't forget, these are the strikes from an average golfer. I'm going to quickly go to, if I can just find it, the dispersion. There it is, throw the dispersion chart up and just look how tightly compact that is. Um, I, don't get me wrong, there's, there's no magic wands in this game. I struck the ball particularly well this morning. Uh, I was comfortable with it, the shaft I use and everything. I love the look of it. And from, like I said, I can make this a very, very quick review and end it right here pretty much. They, them, their minds were superb. I'm really pleased with what Taylor made have come up with there because for me, that's the iron that has been, that we've, that's that's been needed it's that mixed bag of everything it's got the brilliant feel from the forge club it's got forgiveness packed in with the speed foam which i do believe as a as a help with ball speeds across the club face and down in those lower irons i'm expecting some incredible feel when i get them but that's only a guesstimate at this stage and like i said i will do a second review because i will go out on the course with these and try them in the longer mid and short irons and see how they perform out there but for me right now that is an absolute superb iron that i have hit just there can't wait to hit the longer and shorter irons but what the feeling was absolutely brilliant a really great feel packed with i mean i don't know you get the you get the gist i'm saying no more that's me i'm signing out that is the average golfer done one happy man here this morning testing that golf club uh, thumbs up if you like the video comment down below and uh, i will see you very very soon